What's your name, fat body? Well, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. What's your name, scumbag? Hello, folks. It's the Anonymous Patriot. And his little buddy, Nine. And we're back with another World of Tanks video for you. Remember, guys, if you like this video or any of the other videos on the channel, to give it a thumbs up and a share on the social media of your choice as it really helps out the channel. Do it. Do it. You know you want to. It's easy. Just hit the like button down below and share it using the share button over here. Every little bit helps, guys and helps Nine and I get closer to buying that new computer so we can bring you higher quality World of Tanks videos. You're damn right, brother. So what have we got for the peeps today? Okay, Nine, I have a replay of me driving my M5 Stewart Tier 4 light tank. The M5? It's just hard to see you driving a light tank, brother. Are you the only crew member, considering you are a fat ass and everything? Actually, I thought it was you driving, Nine, since the M5 is so small and whatnot. Oh, we about to throw down now, Kyle. The M5 is the epitome of a scout light tank, and sees matchmaking at a three-tier spread like all light tanks do in World of Tanks. It can't rely on its armor, because it really doesn't have any. Its gun isn't real great either, and just won't penetrate anything in tier 6 or 7 and it has trouble penetrating anything at tier 5 as well it relies mainly on speed and camo it makes a great passive scout tank and if it can get through at the artillery it can cause a real headache to them as well in a tier 4 match however the M5 can be a tough little bastard hey wait a damn minute I just noticed something different. Your garage has changed, brother. Yep, Nine. Remember I told you in the last video I had something special for you that you will really like? I recently installed Webium's Mod Pack on the game client. It gives you some great options for changing your garage and in-game mods that are really helpful as well. With the damage counter is a real big help, though I did not install the XVM feature. I figured out that it was XVM that was causing me to have so many problems with my FPS loss, so I haven't reinstalled Maybe it. Maybe when we get the new computer it won't matter so much, and you can replace it. But hey, I got a surprise for you too. While you were sleeping last night, I installed the World of Tanks European <laughs> Holy shit, Nine! I love your screen name, The Mighty Nine. That's great, man. Trying to be like Jingles? Hell no. I'm going there to hunt down Jingles and place my size .012 boot directly in his ass. I just have to grind out the tanks that I need to get at. How in the hell did you get female crew members now? I saw that you had downloaded that mod pack from Webium, and I downloaded it too. It's one of the mods to have all the female crew members. So I got all my tanks with checks in them. I got honeys galore now. You pimping now, Nine? I'm gonna be a lead pimp, spreading lead around like it's a hooker with AIDS. Well, I'll tell you what, little buddy. You get me some good replays, and we'll post them here on the channel. I do the commentary, though. You get to be my co-host. <laughs> okay, Nine. That should be fun. Let's get to it, little buddy. Okay, brother. Let me start off right now by saying that I don't see any screen names that really catch my attention in this matchmaker. So once again, there will not be a winner for my contest. Come on, people. Use a screen name that makes me laugh. Anyhow, folks, this is a standard tier 4 battle, and right away you can see how the Japanese heavy tank craze has gripped the world of tanks player base. Our team has three of the new Japanese heavy tanks, while the enemy team has five of them, so our team is outnumbered in heavy tanks four to six. We outnumber them in medium tanks three to two, and we also outnumber them in tank destroyers three to two. But they have us outnumbered in light tanks, and their team has that evil little bastard, the Lukes. Jeez, brother, I wish you would get the Lukes already. 
I want to play it so I can prove how evil it is. It's evil, but cute as hell, Nine. About like you. But good news, little buddy. I started the German light tank line, and I will soon have the Lukes in my garage. Damn good thing. And you better hurry the hell up, too, because I am going to go down that line and get it, too. Okay, guys, let's get to tanking. Okay, Nine. We're starting off on the south base on Wide Park. Uh, timer's counting down. And I'm thinking about going on over to my favorite little position. As you can see, I got binoculars and a camouflage net installed on the M5 Stewart. Because I am hard, you will not like me. But the more you hate me, the more you will learn. They better learn something. I don't know if they ever will, Nine. Then they will be shitlords forever. And this is one of my favorite positions right here behind these bushes. That is a really strong position. Good place for a tank to start. Got good firing lanes right down through the tunnels. And everybody always goes through, comes to the tunnels. Zoom in. Everything goes active. Camo net's active. And my binoculars are active. So I can see all the way down the street. Oh, there's the Hetzer. What in the hell is that Hetzer doing? What's your name, scumbag? Got a shot in on one of those Japanese heavy tanks. Dude, it's like a sealed club and shooting gallery. Why is that Hetzer setting right out in the middle of the street like that and not having any camouflage? I bet his ass gets killed. And a bunch of people sh show up. It's time to go to work, man. You want me in the world of shit? I'm gonna rip Got two shots in on that Type 91. I like how the loader yells up when you're reloading. Yeah, it's part of the mod nine. Oh, look. And these guys just keep draining right out in front of your gun. I don't know if I got him, but I think I tracked him again. I'm surprised the crybaby crew hasn't been crying about invisible tanks. You slimy stuff I get on your face and give me 25. Got another one in on that Type 91. Yeah, I should have aimed that shot instead of using auto aim. Or those shots, I'm sorry. Just a waiting game. It's like shooting ducks in a barrel. And the noob goes ding! Bang, 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 ding! Bang, 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 ding! Oh, look, there's a heavy tank. I think they finally figured out that you're down there. Now they're trying to spot Zoom you. Zoom in on him. Dude, you're so rich. Ouch, just tore him right up and tracked him too. And your shots are going to go right up to his lower plate. Say bye bye. What's your name, scumbag? Oh, ripped him up too. Dude, that was fucking brutal. Just tore him up. You're probably thinking, why in the fuck did I use this piece of shit? Withering cover fire. You gotta love I it. I think they figured out that they're not getting through those tunnels. Oh, it's their martyr too. Oh, they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel now. You will be in the world of Landed one. Wait for my reload, and he's still there. All of those dead tanks right there in front of him should be an indication to run away. Ooh, took a lot of his health. I'm gonna rip you yeah, I didn't get to. Oh, now this asshole grows a brain and runs away. Yeah, the score is 10 to 9, and we're winning, but not by much. But they're all, their entire team, what's left, is knocked down. I haven't seen that DW2 yet, and I think that's him over on the east flank. I'm pretty sure it is. It's the only heavy tank left. You pretty much held this one by yourself. And I'm pretty sure their Lukes is over there, too. Well, so much for that medium tank. No shot. 
figure I'll throw some rounds in on him. Oh, yeah, so much for those guys. That Martyr 2 took, was a one shot. Somebody took him out. That Type 91. Oh, the Electo. I'm sorry. Type 91 took out the other one. And I head towards their base. And no, I'm not going to go through their base. I don't want that DW2 and that Luke's to know where I'm at. So I go down alongside the river right here. And... I know I'm going to run it. Oh, shouldn't hit that tree. I know I'm going to run into one of them. Oh, look, there's the Lukes. I still haven't taken any hits yet. Uh, proximity spotting. He knows I'm there. Ouch. Ooh, got him with that one. So much for the Lukes. And now just got to hunt. It scores 14 to 10. Just got to hunt down that douche wagon too. Oh, ran into the rail car. I really should install the visible rail cars mod. That way I can see those. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And all I got to do, like I said, well, I know where he's at now. Dude, you shouldn't have went through our base. Now I know where you're at. Yeah, that was a really dumb move. So I go on over here, because I know he's over here someplace, and I'm backed up by the Electo and one of the heavy tanks. There he is. Ooh, he's on full health. Nobody's put any shots into him at all. Yeah, let's see if I can get shots. Nope. Yeah, not going to try that. I'm just not interested in trying to fight that DW2. So I turned around. Time for me to leave. I'm one shot, so I'm not trying to fight a heavy tank with a one shot light tank. Time for me to leave. And the tank destroyer and the other heavy tanks are headed that way. I'm gonna let them deal with him. I'm gonna go on back to the base. Run the fuck away and live to fight another day. Somebody's over here capturing the base. I think I believe it's our PZ-2A or something. There he is. There's that. There's that DW-2. Time for me to just go ahead and park on their base and help cap. Oh no, that's the BT our BT-7 Arts on our base. He hasn't taken no hits either. Lucky him. And I just sit here and wait. Oh, now, now that DW2 is getting tore up. Ouch. They are putting that douche wagon 2 out of his misery. Yep, he's all done. That's it. We won. And real quick, before we go to the final results, nine, check out what my WN8 for this battle was. That's 7,138. Holy shit, brother. You played this battle like a super unicorn. Yeah, I was pretty happy with that, nine. Fucking wow, man. Even the battle results screen has changed. Oh, man, look at those pinup girls. They're hot as hell, brother. I'm not sure which one I like better. Hell, fuck it, man. I will take them both. There is enough of me for them to share. I thought you might like that, Nani. These girls make Strawberry Shortcake look like a fat, dumpy housewife, man. What about Barbie doll, Nine? Did she finally get over her butt hurt because you stuffed Ken into a wood chipper? Oh, she got over it all right. And then I found out how she got all that extra money she was spending on me like water. Seems Barbie doll has been leading a double life, brother. <laughs> Holy shit, Nine. I think she played you, little buddy. Okay, guys, I got 16,233 credits and 1,616 experience for this battle, and I completed Light Tank Mission 4 on the Stude Campaign, which added an additional 50,000 credits to this battle for me. This was an Ace Tanker game for me, which I was really happy to see. How many battles do you have in the M5 Stuart, man? At this time, I only had 25 battles in this Tank 9, so I was really stoked that I got an Ace Tanker in it. 
I got the fire for effect ribbon for laying down the withering fire I did for defending those tunnels from that position I was in. I got the master gunner's ribbon for scoring five armor penetrating shots in one battle which isn't too hard for the M5 to do in a tier 4 match. And I got that bruiser token which was a real surprise. And I got the confederate man medal for damaging or causing more critical hits to enemy tanks than any other player. Basically if they came into your line of fire you was peppering their ass with rounds man. Pretty much 9. The autoloader on the M5 is pretty vicious and it reloads pretty fast. I don't even have my crew fully trained on this tank yet either. Well hell brother, you keep up playing like that and you'll have them trained out in no time flat. Okay guys. We can see my homie didn't get high score in his team this time. That 1-2-10 Mario 3 driving the Electro Tank Destroyer, who got 5 kills for 1,135 in damage, and picking up the high caliber for himself. Marin was in second place on his team with 3 kills and 1,008 in damage. The didn't do shit crew on his team consisted of the DT7R, the LTP, the BT7, and the Hetzer. Wait a minute. Wait just a goddamn minute. The Hetzer didn't even get any damage? What the hell was he thinking? Wonder if he tried to use a tank destroyer as an assault tank. Dumbass. On the enemy team, their high scorer was blind NATO Fury driving the Lukes, getting three kills and 1,101 in damage. He had him a nice little rampage going into a mine and his vicious little beast M5 ended it for him. You notice that most of the new Japanese heavy tanks didn't have very good games, and out of the four Type 91s, my homeboy killed two of them, damaged the third, but didn't get to waste the fourth one. God, these Japanese low-tier heavy tanks are shitty. The didn't do shit crew on the enemy team consisted of the PZ-38T and the Panzer 3A. But that's not too surprising. I fired 65 shots in this battle, hitting my target 31 times and scoring 27 penetrations for a total damage score of 1,008. And 275 of that was from a distance of greater than 300 meters. That's a surprise. Why Perk isn't that big of a map? I got hit 10 times and all 10 penetrated, but I managed to survive the battle somehow and traveled 2.39 kilometers plus picking up 20 base capture points. Turning around and not trying to take out that DW2 is what saved you, brother. I got a base credit gain of 16,233, but after repairs and ammo resupply, I pocketed a tidy 13,283 final credit gain. And with the times two first win of the day, I got 1,616 experience for this battle. So what do you think of the M5 Stuart now? It's a vicious little beast, man. I don't know if it's as evil as the Luke's. I know it's certainly not as cute, though. I did rip up those Japanese heavy tanks, though. Yeah, good thing they aren't as overpowered as the Tier 5 OI Experimental, which, if you guys want to check out the review and gameplay of the OI Experimental that Martin and I did, go ahead and click right here to go through to that video. Yeah, that's another tank I want to get, Nine, just to try it out, seeing as I couldn't get any matches in it on the test well, server. Well, that doesn't surprise me, Nine. I'm surprised you don't have a KV-2 with how much you like the derp gun on the M4. I don't like the way the KV-2 looks though, Nine. It's like a Stalin bobblehead or something. It's supposed to be a strunk tank though, brother. You should get one anyhow to see if it is all that. I will think about it, Nine. Okay, that's all I got for this video, little buddy. Okay, man. I'm going to go play World of Tanks on the EU client now. And build my tanks up so I can take out jingles. Until next time, guys. Remember to keep safe. This is Nine, signing off. I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you! Paul! Paul, Pyle, Paul! Who's the climbing little doctor the shit twinkle toe cocksucker down here who just signed his own death warrant? Are you about to call me an asshole? Move it, move it, move it! You can't climb his combat, you piece of shit! Good night.